Thanks, Mr Speaker. My question is to the Minister for Industry and Science. What is the Albanese Labor government doing for the Australian manufacturing industry so that it can generate secure, well-paid jobs? And is Order. this plan threatened by any recent developments? I'll give the call to the order. Members on my left, the member for Hume. And the member for Groom is now warned because he's been continually interjecting within five minutes of question time. I'll give the call to the Minister for Industry and Science. Thanks, Speaker, and thanks to the member for Patterson, who knows the importance of manufacturing to regional communities. I appreciate the, the question. Now, we went through this seismic event of the pandemic where we discovered that the things we needed most weren't there at a time we needed them. Uh, we realised we were dependent on a couple of countries for all these goods uh, that got imported and that we recognised our supply chains were completely dependent on them. And we thought at that point in time we as a country had learned that lesson that we would commit to do better because Australians recognise we have to be a country that makes things. Yeah. And modern economies need strong manufacturing capability if they're going to keep going on into the long term. And manufacturing matters because it generates full-time, secure, well-paying jobs. And with all that in mind, that is why we have committed, the Albanese government has committed to one of the largest investments in Australian manufacturing capabilities in peacetime the $15 billion National Reconstruction Fund that will look at priority areas, value-add and resources, value-add and agriculture, looking at low emissions technology manufacture, transport uh, in medical sciences and, importantly, critical technologies that will be important to give the economy edge longer term. Independently run, with an investment mandate, looking at delivering a return to the taxpayer, building capability and not a colour-coded spreadsheet in sight. Politicians not making the call, the investment decisions made in the national interest, not in political interest. And given all that, what happens? On my left, what the happens? Leader of the, the nullition roars back. The nullition roars back to life. The unreconstructed Tony Abbotts, with no doubt their national unreconstruction fund in the wings there. There they are. Wanting Order. to say no to growing the economy, wanting to say no to growing jobs, wanting to say no to Australian manufacturing, wanting to stop that longer-term benefit that's required. The, and their criticisms from a bunch of people who bought you sports rorts, they bought you regional rorts, and, and they spent in the weeks leading into election manufacturing grants not being there, only interested in manufacturing when it manufactures a vote. That is the only time they are interested. Being lectured on transparency when they had a secret industry minister in their ranks. <laughs> and they're telling us we should be transparent. I mean, please. It is a joke. We will do what's right for this country. We will make Order. sure manufacturing is revitalised. We will do the expired. right thing.